Good morning, Redwood Witches. I know it has been a very long month on my part and I'm super sorry for that, but we are here. It is the first official day of 2020, which is really nice. I partied all night. I'm a little bit, a little bit tired to say the least. My hair has decided that it's not gonna cooperate today. So you guys get to see it on a bad day, but this is the new hairdo. If you guys didn't see the video of me chopping it all off and I, Genuinely, I mean, it's been two weeks today. I've kind of fallen in love with it. And I think it looks well on like my face shape. And I like how easy it is first thing in the morning. And it's been really good. But anyways, long story short, lots of crazy changes are happening in my life right now. And my goal for 2020 is to have one video every single week for the rest of the year. You guys need to hold me to that because I will not do it on my own if I have the chance. And by that, I mean that things are gonna get crazy in the next few weeks, the next couple months. Um, lots of big changes happening in my life and I will not, I don't know, I don't think about my YouTube first thing in the morning when I wake up and it makes it really hard to kind of plan and prep for a video every week. And I don't always get boxes every week and yeah, it's just, it's been a mess. But today we're gonna be doing our witch casket for the month of december it finally got here on the 31st so i mean technically did come in december but it wasn't early enough that i could do an unboxing for you guys so we're gonna do this today and i'm really excited about it i had a couple videos this last month of me doing other boxes and just never posted them things just got too insane with christmas and thanksgiving and the new year and just it's been nuts so that being the case we're going to start off right we're going to start off with a brand new witch casket it is going to be the one for december like i said i'll link all of their stuff down below and we'll go through that real quick get this posted and start 2020 strong first day first video it's gonna happen you guys are gonna have to keep it to or like keep like hold me to it but it's gonna happen we're gonna have one video a week every week for this entire year. That is my like resolution. That is my goal. So anyways, that's that. We'll go ahead and start here. We're gonna open it up. This is what it looks like on the inside. The glare is kind of bad today. It's really nice and rainy outside right now. And so I'm just soaking it in through the, through the window and the sunlight, but I guess not sunlight. I guess cloud light, would it be cloud light? Anyways, it's really nice. It's my favorite. This box, I will tell you, I saw a little bit of a, I saw one spoiler online and I saw that it's the biggest casket ever. So the previous casket that was the biggest was the October one and it was massive. There was so much stuff in it. This one is the same way, only it's topped that. So this one is a huge box to start off 2020. They start off really strong. It's been really cool. Um, from what I have heard, it's a really good box. I've avoided the videos. I've avoided Facebook and uh, Instagram, I have really just kind of avoided the internet so that I don't get all of the spoilers, but there is one that I know for sure, which I'm really excited about. So anyways, there is that. This is our information sheet. Like I said, the glare is really bad, so you probably can't really read it. And the other side, which is the list of contents. It looks like It doesn't really say a theme on it. We thought, oh, letting go and new beginnings. How how appropriate is that? So letting go and new beginnings to start off our first day of 2020 with the witch casket. This is our print for the month. And it looks like a really pretty Phoenix. I can tell by the moon that this one was done by Tea Cake Art. And it's really, really pretty. I love this but it's a phoenix rising from the ashes, which is really kind of cool considering the theme for the month. Next, we have our official witch casket, casket sticker, Ooh. and we get one of these one pretty much every month now, but I still don't do anything with them. Next, we have a letting go charm bag kit, which we will open up real quick here. Oh, that one actually came off pretty easy. I didn't rip the entire bag, you guys. There go the dogs. So inside there, it looks like we have some little amethyst chips. I apologize for the noise. Uh, black satchel. 
this one looks like, I don't know, some kind of herb. And this one looks like chamomile. From what I can tell, it kind of looks like chamomile. Uh, let's see here. Contains everything you need. So, not sure what's in it. Oh, do, 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 do. It has an instruction kit. I lied. Uh, lemon balm and chamomile. So, those are our two herbs for this particular charm bag, which is really cool. You can never have too much lemon, lemon balm or chamomile. I've got tons on my little shelf back there, but like I said, you can never have too much. This was the one spoiler that I saw that I was really excited about. It's an official witch casket calendar for this month. And it's really small. It doesn't have a whole lot on it, but it does have the moon phases, which is always super nice. It's got little pentacles and it's really cute. And pretty much every month is about the same. So this is what we're looking at for our official calendar for 2020. Next, we have a banishing bay leaf spell which is very cool. I get a lot of bay leaves in these, which I use for spell work, but I also have a bunch in my kitchen because I do a little bit of cooking once in a while. So there's that. Here's our little information for that. And in here, it looks like we have a pencil, a witch casket pencil and some bay leaves. So that'll be fun. I'll have to do a little bit of reading into that one and find out how you're supposed to put that one together. Next, I'm seeing another little black satchel of course and it looks like i'm wondering if this one's a candle holder because i don't think that's gonna fit a cone incense so i'm thinking this is a candle holder for your altar maybe which is kind of cool so there's that oh ha 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 there are candles i like the yellow Fun fact for you, yellow is my favorite color. My favorite color is more of like a pastel baby yellow, but oh, yep, there it is. There you go. So that is our candle holder. Ta-da! Uh, but yeah, my favorite color is like a pastel baby yellow, which is weird because I wear pretty much all black. I wear a lot of dark clothing and then my favorite color is yellow and it's always throwing people off, but what can I say? This one looks like I have no idea what that says. The cursive is like really hard to read without glasses, but it's a very, very pretty stone. I think I can get it to focus in maybe a little bit. It's a very, very pretty stone, kind of an orangey color. Um, I think it says more, more is a, I have no idea. It's a carnaline. I know that based on the other stuff underneath. So it's some kind of carnaline, the first word. I have no idea and I cannot read it for the life of me, but there you go. We got some carnaline for this month. Next is our official pin for the month. It's got a nice, beautiful phoenix on the back. And it says, it's just a phase with the moon. That's really cool. My parents told me for so long, oh, the music that you listen to, like the way you dress, all the stuff is just a phase. And I kind of grew out of like, the dressing weird, weird. Um, I kind of grew out of that eventually, but I never really like, I myself just decided that I needed to be an adult to hold like a good job. And so I changed like the way that I dressed, but my actions, my personality, the person that I am, my music taste, none of it's changed since like middle school. I'm still the same person that I was way back then. So that's kind of cute, kind of funny. Um, this looks like our witch casket tea for the month and it's a Rubios orange or Florida orange Rubios, which is awesome. I will not be drinking this one, which will lead me into, I am almost at hundred followers. So if you guys would like to comment down below, I'm going to start taking names, um, for my 100 subscriber giveaway. And I'm going to be doing a big giveaway and I have a lot of things from these boxes that need to go and this will be one of them. So here's your sneak peek at the spoils from my giveaway. But if we can get to 100 in the next little bit, that would be amazing. And then after we've gotten to 100, I will do the official giveaway and I'll do a video for that and everything. But 
you guys want to be part of that giveaway, go ahead and comment down below and let me know because we are super close and I'd like to get the ball rolling as soon as I can. Also, if you think of anybody who might want to watch this channel, you're welcome to send them this channel and see if we can't get that number here a little sooner. This one says waning moon magic, letting go. And it's our scroll for the month for our grimoires, which is really cool. I like how they've kept the black background and it's kind of shiny and hard to read now, but, or at least for you guys, not so much for me, but I, I think it just looks cool the way that the paper looks with all the ink on it. So that's our scroll for the month. Looks like we've got Nag Champa, incense. That smells really good. I mean, it smells like incense more than anything. Incense is like a really specific smell and this just kind of smells like incense, but it smells good, kind of soapy. So like that, that was that for that. Next I have another satchel with a candle in it. It says witch casket altar candle. Ooh, this is actually a really good sized candle. It's nice and ridged on the bottom so that it won't slip around on top of your altar and everything, but very nice altar candle, kind of beautiful. I think they're setting us up to have like a really, really good altar here because that's what it's looking like. Next, we have a hat. It looks like a really nice little beanie. This is magic with a K. I mean, we all know I love me my beanies. Give that a shot. It actually doesn't fit weird. Sometimes when you get a beanie that's got writing on it, it doesn't fit right. This isn't terrible. I think I wish I, I think it like, I wish it folded up once and then had the magic on the bottom part of that, but it's not bad for sure. And I think I'll wear it. I actually do think I'll wear this. I'll fix my hair a little bit. We'll finish this video off with the hat. There you go. What do you guys think? I think it's really cute. Next and the final thing in the box, which is really cool, is this beautiful book. That's this book of spells and it's got our phoenix on it. And you just open it up and it's just lined paper so it's a nice little notepad. And then it's got the um, strappy thing to close it too, which is really nice. So that was a book of spells for the year of 2020. How cool is that? I'm going to go through real quick and just make sure that I'm not missing anything, but it looks like, oh, it's got a bookmark in it too. So you've got the cover that closes and then an actual bookmark so you can kind of keep your place on your spells. That is kind of really nice. I love the orange. I love the idea of the phoenix. Like I said, I'm going through a lot of pretty big life changes right now. So this is all really kind of nice and it applies really well. I don't know how my boxes do it, but every single one on my box or boxes, I don't know if it's like the universe is like screaming at me or what's going on, but every single time I get a box, there's always something in it that's like, okay, I hear you, I'm listening because it all applies so well to like what's happening in my life during that point in time. And it's been really cool for me. So this was that. I'm gonna double check and make sure that I think we got everything. Uh, oh, Mozambique Carnaline. There it is. It's on the information card in normal writing. So Mozambique Carnaline. And that was our stone for the month. There you go. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here because it's starting to get a little bit longer than I was expecting it to be. But I love you guys. Thank you for coming along. Some dogs barking and on this crazy adventure for or with me for the last few months. Like I said, this year we're gonna do it strong. We're gonna do at least one video a week, sometimes two, kind of depends. I've got a lot of things planned for this year and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm just waiting to get it started. Um, like some pretty big life changes are happening. I may end up moving here in the next couple weeks. If that's the case, I've got to figure out, um, I guess kind of like where I'm gonna be um and get everything set up and everything like that but as soon as that's done and that's ready i mean i may be doing videos out of my car <laughs> if we're being completely honest because i won't have like a good space to set up for a little while 
but as soon as that happens, I mean, we'll definitely be more consistent. And I, my goal is to stay consistent even through all of the craziness in my life right now. So that being the case, I just want you guys to know that there's a lot to look forward to. If you want to be part of my 100 subscriber giveaway, go ahead and comment down below. If you're not already part of the family, like and subscribe because I will be here once a week this year. And I'm kind of fun. I'm kind of goofy. I also am ready to step forward into this new phase of my life and really kind of be myself and let my wishiness shine. And I want to take you guys along for the ride. And I really, really want you guys to be there with me. So thank you for all of your support, all of your love. And I will see you in the next video.